What's going on guys? What's happening? Uh, all done for the day. Uh, sorry I didn't get any footage. Let me see if I can put that right there so you guys can see me. Um, wanted to talk about something kind of uh, a little disturbing that I saw on a video yesterday. Uh, you guys all know Ray Ray. Saw his video. Been been watching Ray for a long time, man. Got a lot of respect for Ray. Him and I have talked quite a bit. We've been through a we go through a lot of the same things as business owners on different scales. Um, Ray has much bigger uh, properties. Uh, he's into the you know bobcat work stuff like that. I'm not, but. You know, we've, we've talked employees quite a bit, and uh, what I'm seeing lately, and it's not just, and I'm not down and raise employees or, or anything like that, but the lack of respect that an employee has for their employer overall, right now in the workforce is unbelievable. You know, used to be when I was growing up my dad would tell me you do what your boss tells you to do you don't shake your head you don't sigh you don't do anything you just do what they tell you to do you do the best you can and I'll, I'll tell you it's the truth people that do that get farther ahead uh, people that will take what their boss is telling them to do and try to do their best at it, they're the ones that will get ahead, okay? So if you're out there, and, and, and I have a message to all employees. This is my little rant, so to speak. I remember, and this has rung true in my business, and it really didn't hit me until I was 38 years old and I started my lawn care business. I used to work at a company, I worked there for 14 years, and I never thought my job was important, never. I started my business, got my, hired my first employee, and the guy was rarely on time, hardly ever shoe, uh, shoe up, hardly ever showed up. And that affected my business so bad that I thought, man, is this what I've been doing the last 30-some years of my life or the last 20-some years of my adult work life? Taking my job half-heartedly, not really thinking that what I'm doing is important. I'm telling you guys, whether you're working at McDonald's, whether you're working at Kohl's, a clothing store, Kroger, the job you do is important to other people, and it is important to your boss. Your boss has responsibilities. Myself, Ray, as business owners, we have responsibilities to these customers. And when you as an employee of our company Act like it doesn't matter whether you walk off the job, get an attitude, don't show up, come in late, call off in the evening because you're not feeling great. Look, I don't feel great probably uh, 50 to 100 days a year, but I have responsibilities to my clients. I have responsibilities to people I owe money to. Um, Ray doesn't just hire people. Ray cares about people. We've talked about this, man, personally. If you can't see that Ray tries to help folks, you're missing the boat, man. And I've tried to help people. And I have had people on YouTube give me crap for how I treated certain people that worked for me. 
You have no idea what we go through. You have no idea. And Ray had every right yesterday to be pissed off. But Ray is the kind of man that will say, you know what? I made a mistake. I shouldn't have got angry like that. I shouldn't have said that. Um, we are running a business trying to put food on the table, trying to better our lives. An employee should be taking care of the responsibilities that the boss gives him to the best of his or her ability. No questions asked. If they say, please sweep the floor, you don't say why. You get the broom and you sweep the floor. That is the job that you were hired for. Now, if you're an employee and you're watching this and you're saying, well, I don't like this job, educate yourself, start your own business, do something to better yourself if you don't like the situation you're in. Do not complain that you're only making $11 an hour when the guy next to you is making 30 if you're not willing to do what that guy had to do to get to that position. I, I don't understand what is going on in this country. People crying about having to work. There's jobs everywhere. If you're crying about having money, that you don't have money, there's a simple fix. You get off your ass and you go get a job whether you like that job or not, you do the best that you can possibly do at it. If you do not like to do that, get an education and get a better position. I think, my personal belief is, we have too many lazy ass people in this country that have been handed things and so they don't feel like they need to work. There's way too much of this, uh, I deserve this mentality. You only deserve what you work for, in my eyes. Now, other people may tell you differently, and that's okay, but you're going to be stuck where you're at, hating every job that you do, always envying somebody else's possessions, which I think is the dumbest thing in the world. Possessions are just that, they're possessions. As soon as you pass away, they're gone. So, uh, that's my two cents, man, on the day. I've been thinking about it all day and it's just really in my crawl. Ray's a good guy. I have a lot of respect for him. Yeah, of course, me and him have gone at each other. Man, everybody on YouTube goes at each other. If I, I've said so many things I regret, and I've said things about people that I'm sorry for, but sometimes you don't, you know, that goes by the wayside. We all say things that we don't mean. Ray is a great guy. I don't think his employees are bad people. I don't think they're bad employees. I think we all need to just grow up and realize we're in this thing together. If you want what Ray has or you want what I have, you've got to be willing to go through what we went through to get it. And a lot of you out there starting your own businesses are starting to realize it's not that easy. But uh, that's my two cents, man. Don't mean to offend Ray or anybody and not slamming on anybody. Just... If you are an employee, man, take your job seriously. When you do your job, it makes everybody else's job easier. And we're all in the same goal together. The goal is to make money and make a living. So I will definitely have footage tomorrow. Nessa will be here to help. We're going to be mowing all day. She's going to be doing the trimming, thank goodness. And uh, as always, guys, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. And a big shout out, man, to my buddy Edward Molina. Um, just, just a phenomenal individual human being. I love the guy, and he knows who he is. 
Uh, he doesn't have a channel. He doesn't do YouTube, but just an incredible guy. Hey, we love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. I'm out of here. Peace.